Hi guys. Small tutorial which will help you to uh, set up and install uh, substation with your Magento tool. So, first of all, you have to download the Magento tool uh, substation plugin or extension from the Magento marketplace. Um, this is a free plugin, and this is you will get all. I have already purchased it as a, and you can download it from. Uh, This is the particular budget to ship session. The latest version. Click on download and and you will get the uh, zip file. Now I have copied the zip file, all the all the container music folder into Octane and Octane API folder. Once you get this, upload this Octane API Octane folder into the root of your Magento app and code folder. This is what I have done. I have uploaded it here. This is the folder. App. Once you upload, once you upload, once you upload this extension, then you have to set up this set up the extension. So to set up the extension, you have to go to your uh, SSH command line, uh, Linux command line, go into the public HTML or the root Magento folder, and run this particular command. This is the command. We have to run php bin slash magento module and every octet underscore api once you have once you run this command uh, the extension is available once the extension is available then you have to upgrade the setup with this command This is the command php bin magento setup upgrade. This is the command after which you install and enable the extension you upgrade the. Then, then finally, once you have done the upgrade, flush out the cache with this particular command. This is the command php bin magento cache flush. This will flush out the cache. Once the cache is plus out, you have to go to the backend Magento backend. This is your Magento backend. You have to go under store configuration. And here you will find on the left navigation, you will find the substation tab. Click on general settings. Now once you click on this, you get some few fields. Set up the field like I have done. Import this this particular options. This is up to you which options you want to set. Uh, once you set this option, you have to click on General and save API key. Once you do this, you get a API key here. This is your new API key. Save the content. Copy the new API key that you got somewhere somewhere on the uh, on the dot page or somewhere else. Now this is the Magento part is done. Now you can move to the SIP station, uh, lock, SIP station uh, app or software. Once you log into the SIP, SIP station software, it will ask you to create or This is the store that I have set up. This is the store that I have set up. Now you can under the under the once uh, once you are logged into the to the ship station, click on the settings. This particular icon. Once you click on the icon, you get this particular section select selling channels this is my store i have set up the buy store as a selling channel which is syncing the orders from this particular budget to store that i have set up the plugin on you can set up your own store connect to a store and marketplace you have to select magento magento provide select the version and and here and here you have to paste and you have to paste the api, API key that you have got in the budget to this one this particular api key copy and paste it here 
once you paste the get key, you get a and paste your store URL. Uh, this is your store URL, and this once and test the connection now. Once the connection, uh, once the connection is test, once, once the connection is set up and tested, tested, you have to uh, just uh, you have to set up the status accordingly. This is the unpaid paid shift set accordingly you set up and just click on connect. Once you click on connect, your orders will get start syncing from your your Excel. This is the active store and you can start syncing your order. Just click on this and your order will start syncing. This is the orders that I have my store is synced with. Uh, this is this is how the ship station is ship station setup is done. All the orders that are placed on Magento will be sent and transferred to the ship station where you can manage your orders for shipping at one place. So this is this is good for people who have you know the users who have too many stores, maybe five, six, seven stores, and they can you know have all the invoices and orders at one place. This is they can easily maintain the orders and track the orders and use ship station for shipping and dispatching, label printing and other features as well. Thank you.